Previously on McLeod's Daughters. I take a whole day to get ready for a long weekend. How am I supposed to get organised in ten minutes? Who cares? This is the best thing you've ever done. Just go for it. I don't have a ticket or visas or vaccinations. This is crazy. Stop thinking. No problem's too big. This is for you. What is it? My share of drovers. What? I'm officially dead. I can't own property. It's for you and your sisters. Oh, are you sure? Absolutely. So I'm like flowers for you? <laughs> it's canola, Alex. I love you, Stevie. God, I love you. I love you too. I don't ever want us apart again. <laughs> <laughs> with any luck, these floats will be coming back from sales empty. Luck's got nothing to do with it. With me as your spruker, you'll be lucky to come back with a float. Are you sure you're just not trying to get out of work? I mean, horse sales aren't really your thing. No, I've just never been to a camp drafting event before. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Now, you two don't even think about this place while you're away. I'm going to take care of everything. You just go win the camp drafting. Oh, well, I'm a bit out of practice. You don't need practice. You're a champion. I've seen all the trophies. Oh, thanks, Kate. That really takes pressure off. Looks like there's a lot of people competing. What is this, a conspiracy to freak me out? O'Reilly and I are only there to sell our horses and camp drafters. It's a good way to advertise. Righto. <laughs> Grandma moves faster than you, Stevie Hall. Want it back? Give me that. Jeez. Right? So you're here for the cam drafting? I thought you're out of all that now. I'm here to promote my horse business, actually. Oh, so you've gone all legit. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Hey, Regan, take a look at this. This is what overconfidence looks like. What are you doing here? Do you two know each other? Yeah, we do. We're sisters. <laughs> come from? Are you on the run from the law or something? It's mum's maiden name. So I've got to ask, how the hell did you two manage to hook up? Well, these days I'm part owner of Drover's Run. <laughs> They're letting our side of the family in now. Oh, all of that stuff, it's history. Right, I love it there. So you killed off all the animals then? <laughs> well, believe it or not, we actually get Regan on a horse these days. People change, what can I tell you? Well, guess they can. Well, you two must have a lot to talk about, and I've got a lot of stuff to do. So, what happened to the world of rocks? I'm still playing in the dirt, just in a different way. Fair enough. You've inherited part of Drover's run. It's from the lawyer, it's all in here. Can you hold on to that for a bit? Well, my hand's kind of full at the moment. 
Come on, Baggins, old son. Once we move the cattle, I want to drench the sheep in Murray's paddock. The boss is away for the next two days. We're supposed to be taking it easy. Well, I'm the boss now, and I've never really been good at that part of the culture. It's a hole in the fence. Clarny cattle have got through. They're eating our pasture. OK, whose turn is it to fix the fences? Theirs or ours, do you know? All right, we'll do it. That way it's done. Let's get these cattle moved, eh? This really isn't going to be a bludge day, is it? Come on, Taylor. Technically, it's your turn to take care of it, but Taylor and I can manage, so we can just grab some wire. How long's Stevie been gone? A couple of hours. Nah, uh, place is falling apart. Useless, I tell you. Your cattle damaged the fence. Oh, so now the cows take the blame for your incompetence. Sorry? Kate, he's joking. That's not very funny. Do you have a, an ag science degree, Marcus? No, I don't. Wool classing accreditation, because I wouldn't call either of those things useless. Second grade spelling champion. Does that count? Do you want the wire? Taylor, back to work. <laughs> That's the coolest hunk of horse I've ever seen. Well, he's the main reason we're here. Load the buyers checking him out. If you can afford him. I heard he left all the other horses for dead this year at Mumbula. He did. I was there. I'd give anything to borrow him and take him for a ride, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. He's looking good! You better believe it. So, you're still living for camp drafting? Is there anything else new in your life? Not really. You? Well, apart from drovers and learning how to ride, I guess not. You promised there was going to be some interesting looking fillies here, Stevie. G'day. Name's Riley. That's right. Grace is Regan's sister. Oh, you never told me you had to drop that gorgeous sister. You never asked. For the record, I think I'm in love. Let me guess. 57th time this week. <laughs> 57th time today. Hey, boy. You're beautiful. You gonna do better than that tomorrow? Kingston, don't you have something better to do with your time? Nothing that's even half this entertaining. <laughs> Call that riding cowgirl. Hey, what are you doing here? Come here and give me a kiss, will you? Alex, not here. Thought you had a lot of work on today at Kalani, mate. That's nothing I can't wait. Thought I might come and check out the horses on offer, if that's all right with you. Yeah. Kylie, take him for me. Sure. Go on, Phil. Go. Now, since when aren't I allowed to kiss my girl? Or maybe I'm not ready to go public yet. Right. You're embarrassed to be seen with me, are you? No, I just think there's no need to go making announcements too soon. Well, we can tell them today, we can tell them next year, Stevie, but one thing's not going to change. She's stuck with me in the story. Well, let's just keep it as our little secret, just for a while. OK. One condition. Huh? I'm not keeping it a secret forever. <laughs> oh. Riley, all good? Yeah, very happy, I'd say. They might as well give me that trophy right now. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't believe it. This has got to be my lucky day. Stevie Hall and Grace Kingston. I'm a head of Vandenberg. Oh. I'm oh. competing against you both tomorrow. Wow, this is such an honour. You're like two of the camp drafting veterans. Well, mm, good luck out there tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully it's not going to come down to that. I have been training my bum off. <laughs> Since when did we become veterans? <laughs> I don't know, but Dolly Parton called and she wants her outfit back. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hi, I didn't get a chance to introduce myself. Name's Riley. So are you here with Stevie or Grace? Ah, uh, Stevie. Strictly professional manner, of course. Just in case that was in any way relevant. You're a fan, then. 
too soon to say, Riley. We've only just met. 